There's also this image of a possible Manatee County man. It's making headlines because of what he's seen carrying inside the Capitol. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer has more on that and talked to local authorities about the possible charges rioters could face. So, Aaron, what have you heard? Well, and the state attorney Andrew Warren here in Hillsborough County says anyone who took part in this failed insurrection could face a number of charges ranging from something as simple as trespassing to sedition or even terrorism, depending on their involvement in what went on. But we don't yet know what it, uh, what that man who you so showed there in that photo, what it could mean for that guy from Manatee County, uh, who was featured in that photo that almost immediately went viral. At about 3.30 Wednesday, this photo of a man carrying the Speaker of the House's podium through the halls of the U.S. Capitol building was tweeted by Getty Images. Less than 24 hours later, it's among the most iconic pictures from the attempted insurrection. I instantly recognized him, so it was kind of like, what are the odds? Alex Noon says she knew this man from church in Lakewood Ranch, so she immediately tried to make sure as many people on social media also knew his name. I just wanted to make sure people knew who he was so that he could be held accountable. Authorities say they've noticed. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is sharing with D.C. investigators social media posts identifying this man as Adam Johnson of Parrish. Johnson appeared to document his trip to the nation's capital, posting photos on Facebook before his account was shut down. Definitely, they don't act like us in Manatee County. The Manatee Connection surprised State Senator Jim Boyd. That is intolerable, and we shouldn't stand for it. I'm sad that it's perhaps somebody from um, our community that would be there. Fox 13 went to Johnson's house. The numbers had been peeled off the mailbox, and no one at the home would comment. Meanwhile, at least six Floridians are facing charges connected to the unrest, including a person from Riverview. The extremism we saw yesterday has no place in our country. Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren says his office is ready to help investigate possible suspects from our area. He also explained what authorities are likely doing right now. At this point, police and investigators in, in Washington, D.C. should be combing through videos to identify the people who were actually responsible for the crimes yesterday. D.C. Metro Police already posted video images of potential suspects on its website. They're hoping for help, like the kind Alex Noon provided yesterday. And this is her hope for the man in this photo. But I hope he can at least, like, view his actions through the lens of, like, literally the rest of the world. And the majority of the charges, uh, according to Andrew Warren, for the rest of the folks involved in all of this who end up being arrested, um, they're going to come from authorities in D.C., whether that's the FBI, D.C. Metro Police, or uh, Capitol Police. But according to Andrew Warren, if any charges would come from local authorities, like his office, for example, it would have to be connected to the planning having happened in the Tampa Bay area, in the Hillsborough County area. Right now, there's no evidence that that happened, but he's saying, hypothetically speaking, that would be the way someone locally would be charged locally. Now, we're told that Johnson's wife uh, works at a doctor's office, is a doctor down in Manatee County. We did call that doctor's office, but nobody there was available for comment. Linda. All right, Aaron. We'll have to see how this all plays out. Thank you.